Guys, thanks for clicking on my video. I'd like to thank Tony from Talon Tunes for sending this gun to me. I really appreciate it. Ooh, look at that. Now, the Taipan Veteran is maybe a gun that you haven't heard a lot about. I'd call it one of those low profile guns. It's not out there like FX and all these other brands that get advertised and pushed. But this gun does have a very loyal following among people who have shot it. And in this video, I got a feeling we're going to find out why. So while you guys are watching me unwrap this bad boy and get it ready for the video, let me go ahead and read you the description. Now the Taipan veterans are out of the Czech Republic, but for this Taipan veteran long, they actually got together with the original makers of this gun in the Ukraine. It's kind of a collaboration. Once again, here's a description. The bullpup model is very popular nowadays. The rifle is produced in the Ukraine. If we look at the level of processing, the trigger mechanism, for example, is at a very high level. The overall workmanship is on the same level as expensive models manufactured in the Czech Republic or Germany have. The rifle is supplied with two magazines and one shot reduction for more accurate shooting. Reloading is through side lever mechanism, which is highly accurate and simple. This description was actually written not in the US, you guys might be able to tell, but get to the point across. Holy crap, you guys, check out that button right there. Awesome. The two main innovations in the reloading are, one, you are not able to load two pellets into the barrel. The second innovation concerns the area of the barrel and the air hole that has been designed to avoid pellet deformation. Some high tech stuff right there. You can use the 22 millimeter weaver rail for mounting scope or red dot sights. Weaver rail is made from one piece. Compared to previous models, the weaver rail is inclined by 20 MOA. That's a, a cool thing about this is you're already pointing downhill 20 MOA, so that allows you to shoot longer distances without having to do weird stuff to your scope or have something like FX no limit scope rings that go up and down by theirself. Great for air guns. The barrel is finished with a high quality silencer, which is connected with the thread. Under the barrel, there is a large air tank the air tank goes through almost the entire rifle and is topped with a Wicca pressure gauge. While you are filling the air, you see the actual pressure that is labeled with the unit numbers in bar. There is also a quick fill connector for filling the air tank. As already mentioned before, the trigger mechanism is really well done and it has variable adjustment of resistance and downturn. Manual safety is located in front of the trigger. I do love those when they're right in front of the trigger like that. New laminate stock produced in Italy. Beautiful design with new Taipan logo engraved. Awesome. And then it, it says right here, practical experience. This is very well constructed bulk pup rifle. Therefore, the rifle is very accurate. Big capacity of tank will provide enough shots. So they're saying that it's an extremely accurate rifle and the rifle's accuracy comes from how well it's constructed. Probably the materials too. So this is uh, going to be an awesome rifle. Let's do this. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a little heads up on where you can get these. So just shoot on over to Talon Tunes right here. They got these laminates in stock all ready for Christmas. And here's the price. Give them a call anytime. Tony will answer the phone. He's the owner. Great gun. And Talon Tunes is actually a great dealer, too. So check them out. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys, I got my Talentoon stickers. I got some Talentoon t-shirts. I'm going to be giving away. One for me, though. Wow, look at those fancy cards, too. Nice. So, Tony from Talentoon sent me this veteran long laminate. Can be really nice. Looks like I might have got a Dunny FL in there, too. This is getting super exciting. Holy crap, guys, look at this care package right here. This is what you can expect if you order from Tony at Talon Tunes. He takes every gun, sets the trigger how he likes it, tunes it for you, makes sure everything's super legit before it leaves. So personalized service right there. And this is the kind of package that you'll that you'll open if you grab one of these.
You guys check out how quiet this is without the LDC. Not bad at all. But as you can see, we'll just remove this here. Whoa, that slid right off like precision. Wow, that thing looks mean now. I don't think I've ever met a gun that didn't look better with a Donny FL on there. Boom. Boom, made in America too. Oh. Boom. Boom, made in America too. Now see if this even makes any noise at all. Wow, you could hear like a spring inside there somewhere, but that's all. You guys looking over this manual, it's pretty impressive. Look at that full color stuff. There's a short, standard, and the long that we got right there. All kinds of neat stuff in there. So I'll go ahead and peruse this and uh, we'll get back to you tomorrow. One thing I did notice is I got a single shot tray ready to go right there. That's it, that's your caulking right there. That's your pellet right there. Then all you got to do is barely touch this, watch this. Ooh, that's beautiful. All right guys, and a few more facts and figures on this Taipan Veteran Long. Weighs seven pounds, 10 ounces. It's got a manual safety. It is regulated. The overall length is 31 inches. Has a 21 and a half inch Lothar Walther barrel. Comes with two magazines plus a single shot tray like you saw. And the fill pressure on this guy is 250 bar. It does say the moderator that I showed you is sold separately. Although as we saw, it's pretty quiet without one. And finally, you can switch the charging handle from right to left. So that's always cool. The side lever. Very nice. All right, you guys know the drill. I got my target right there at 35 yards. Right here, I got some 25 caliber ammo. Of course, we got our MK2 heavies. Good old 25 grain exact. And for a treat today, I got some H&Ns. It looks like we got some Barracudas, Field Target Trophy, 25 cows, and more Barracudas. I'll have to check with Tony, but if this is a non-choked barrel, I might be able to shoot some slugs out of it. But we'll check that for right now. Today we're going to go ahead and shoot all these pellets, see how we do at 35 yards. Is that alright with you, Taipan? Yeah, man. Alright guys, this camera is a Sony, but it's from like the 1990s. All right, a nice cloudy day, great for scope cam footage. Look how clear that is. So I'm gonna sight in on this boar right here, and then we'll shoot over to the deer. I really have to remember to cock the gun and put a pellet in. All right, you might be able to tell I'm a little excited about this. Really looking forward to shooting this. All right, that does not surprise me. By the way, you guys, I'm at a full 250 bar. Oh, wow. That went real close. Let's see if I can put it in the same hole. Yep. All right, so we got to click to that hole, and we should be sighted in. I'm trouble getting my bullet impact to come up. Let's see here. Cool. All right, there's a close-up view. I'm almost uh, sighted in. And once I do get sighted in, I'll try to take out those other bullseyes. That took me to about 210 bar. I'm going to go ahead and air up to 250.
All right, we're at 250 bar. Now this might be flying a little fast. Let's go ahead and try some 33 grain. Those five or so shots that I just did just took me from 250 to about 240 bar. So I'm going to keep shooting. 33 grain GSB. Let's see where they hit. Smacker. It's a teeny bit low. All right, I went two clicks up on my crosshairs. Oh. I'm going to shoot until I miss the bullseye. All right, you guys, all those shots brought us to exactly 200 bar. Okay. Not much left of that bullseye to aim at. Guess that's a good problem to have, huh? I'm gonna actually aim for the part of the bullseye that's like missing. All right, I'm just gonna aim for the middle. All right, now I'm gonna see if I can hit him in the nose. All right, guys, now the needle's just below 200 bar, looking like like right at 190. Oh, yep. Here, right where I was aiming. No flyers yet. Nice grouping. That's probably, probably could qualify as a dime right there. That's a nickel, but like 10 shots, at least. Boy, that wasn't too bad either. Let's get to some chronograph testing. But first, I'm going to do a group right there with the Barracudas, and a group right there with the other H&Ns. All right, there we go. We're getting some H&N Barracudas and H&N Field Target Trophies. Here we go. All right, that's enough of that. We should be still above 240 bar. 31.02 grains. Hey, you guys, that's why I shoot JSBs. We still do have our field target trophies right here, and they are only 20 grains. So let me go ahead and get some fresh bullseyes over here. We'll do this again. All right, guys, I'm back up at 250 bar, and we are field target trophy, 20 grains, quite a bit lighter. All right, let's go hunting. Bullseyes, that is. Well, those got down there quick. Little shorties. Uh-oh. That one hit the wrong bullseye. All right, so these are grouping like, what's that, a three-inch group? So no on those. Let's go back to some 25-grain GSBs real fast. That's what I'm talking about. I think I was shooting a little sloppy the first time, and I'm, like, super concentrating now. That's what I expected this gun to do. And I'm going to end, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead right there. So with a little bit of practice, you guys saw I practiced for what? Five minutes? I'm already putting in the bullseye.
That's freaking reliability right there, my friend. All right, you guys, so here's a dime. Goes right over that five shot group with a 25 grain. These guys, 25 grain JSBs, were the star of this little shooting session. And then all I had to do was concentrate, and I was able to ice the bullseyes one, two at the end of my little shooting session there. So, very reliable. I like that. Let's see what it does on the chronograph. Smacking steel is always pretty fun, right? What? That's never happened before. That's not how it's supposed to work. I wonder if I knock this one guy on the left lightly in the head if he'll go down by himself. Oh. Like not concentrating that time. I was like, I'm gonna fling it over here and pull the trigger. Now that's what it's supposed to do, okay? Two down, and then you do the middle one and it pops up. Alright, how many shots was that? We're down to 150 bar and we're still hitting what we're aiming at, at 35 yards. That resetting target is not more than an inch. Did that just knock down the other thing? Holy crap. Yeah, I shot the left one and it knocked down the right one. Ooh. Gave that dude a haircut right there. Ooh. That was my first miss. It was me. Oh, look at that one. I made a total mark right in this, like splatted in the middle of the target. Weird. You know what? I'm going to call that. Let's go check that out. I think I'm going to stuck a pellet in there. All right, guys. I shot that all the way down to 100 bar. So those guys did get a little bit warped. What's going on here? Oh, I just decided to be really shiny right there. On that last one. Huh. Alright, so these guys need a new paint job, but that was fun. What was happening was this was hitting back and hitting this so hard that this thing would just kind of go like this and fling this down. So if I secured this piece right here, it wouldn't do that. Pretty cool though. Alright, guys, I got my GoPro down there. So it's not going to be the best target cam footage, but it's better than nothing. Here we go, and I'm going to sight in for 25 grain JSPs first. Alright, I just went three clicks up. Let's see what happens. Oh! That one doesn't count, alright. I totally, like, bumped the trigger when I was trying to get in position here. Okay, that was a bullseye. I think we're sighted in, maybe.
All right, let's try some 33s. All right, two clicks to the right. Let's see what we can do. I lost count. I thought I know it's at least ten shots, maybe twelve. That one went in the other hole. Um let's take out some groundhogs. Oh I need to air up. Alright you guys, I'm back up at two fifty bar and I wanna go ahead and see if I can just side in for JSP twenty five grains. All right, well, that one-inch bullseye is definitely not safe. Freaking hit about every single corner of it. So, let's see if I can hit these groundhogs now. That was sweet. You got to concentrate a little bit, but when you do, it hits what you're shooting at at 50, you know, within, a, within one inch every single time. So I nailed those little suckers. Freaking nailed that sucker. If that was a rat, I would have nailed it. See, when you're shooting at 50 yards, you have to make sure your rifle's straight up and down. If you can't, you know, you're tilted a little bit, that's enough to make you shoot just to the side. Make sure I'm straight up and down and watch this. Every time. Ugh. When the pellet smacks those spinners, it's just great. I don't know. I mean, for a $10, those things cost 10 bucks a piece. I've been shooting them for two, three years at least. I said spin, boy. Let's see what these chickens have to say. Freaking guy went right down. Oh, wow. That dude went down. Popped back up. He says, you ain't keeping me down, dude. And I was like, ooh. He was like, yeah. Try that again, sucker. And then I was like, Oh, man. It's like the Matrix chicken. Let me get this cup out of the way, first of all. All right. Boom. Center. Center that bullseye. Freaking awesome. That was a lot of fun, you guys. This is a fun gun to shoot. That trigger. Boy, it's nice. All right, here's the results from that 50-yard shootout. Here's a quarter right here. So it looks like, now these were 10 or 12 shots in each of these groups. So let's say that 8 to 10 of those shots went in a quarter size with a couple a little bit off there. Could have been me. And that, that was the 25 grain right there. Kind of the shorter little guys. These big dogs right here, 33 grain. They kind of, it, it kind of decided to do two different groups, two nickel size groups. It also looks like this is our 35 yard target and this was our 25 grain group. So it looks like 25 grain JSBs, they did pretty good.
So this trigger is fully adjustable. Forward is actually safe and back is fire. But I'll show you the trigger pull on it. There's basically your first stage is right there. And then boom. 3.7 ounces. Alright guys, a little bonus footage here. That's my tree right there. Out at 75 yards. I'm gonna see if I can just by holding over maybe hit one of these things here. So let's see, I'll try to get my rifle straight up and down. Yeah, I can never figure out where I'm hitting. Just go for this coyote down here. I think I'm about at that second dot, maybe. <laughs> nice. Nice. 75 yards. Oh, I forgot to put my parallax on. And I still hit it. Let's see if I can do it again. Freaking slam that thing. Damn, you hold that uh, crosshair still and it hits. We can get that top one right there. That thing really slams that stuff. 75 yards. See that? See where I hit right there? Alright, now let's try 100 yards. Alright, you guys, that's my 100 yard target way out there. I can barely see over the grass. I had to use my kind of more high shooting table here, but I'm going to go ahead and just rattle off some shots through the scope cam here. 25 grain and probably some 33 grain GSP. See if we can hit that bell down there. Hey, you guys, I'm on 20 power on my scope. Let's go ahead and hit Dragon. See where we're hitting at. I just did some random clicking there. Let's see what's going on. It's a little breezy, definitely, but maybe I can send some pellets down range between gusts. I might be shooting high. Alright guys, it's a little bit windy, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can sight this baby in at 100. Uh-oh, that's a problem. <laughs> I can work with that, let's see. Alright. Nice. Uh, I think the wind just stopped. Nice. I did two clicks over and I think we're in bullseye territory. The wind decided to go bye-bye. The last shot with the 25 grain GSPs, and I'm gonna switch to 33 grain, see what happens. Nice! Alright, see if I can hit this bell. Nice! All I did was wait for the wind to stop blowing and then concentrate on holding that gun still. You know, follow through or whatever. Yeah. Nailed it. See that lid right there? About a quarter inch tall. Let's see if I can hit it. Oh, that was really close.
The wind was blowing and I aimed a little to the left. Oh, that was sick. She got my gun was like totally pointing downhill. This was sitting like this. Oh, look, I went right through there. <laughs> That's so awesome. A spare dragon, but took the paint off that bell. Wow. And this little bell right here was barely sticking out, and I still was hitting it, so that was super fun. And there's my little 100-yard group. Actually, I was sighting in, so that doesn't really count, but you could probably get like a 50-cent piece-size group at 100 yards. All right, you guys, final thoughts on the Taipan Veteran Long. Definitely a really fun gun to shoot. Definitely this 25 caliber is accurate. The finish on this is just beautiful. Like, the attention to detail on this gun is just impeccable. It really is like a work of art. I like that about it. It's well balanced when I was carrying around the house. Definitely like that. I mean, look at it. It's definitely good looking. And it holds consistent groups, so... I think it's definitely good value. I'm guessing that right there is a hammer spring adjuster. So you could probably mess with the power a little bit on this. All right, that's been my review for the Taipan Veteran. I'd like to thank again Tony from Talon Tunes for sending this gun out to me to try. You guys can thank him too. I do have a couple t-shirts I'm giving away. So if you want to enter to win those, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Smash that like button and subscribe to Airgun Channel. Then 30 days from now, I'll go ahead and pick two lucky winners. And you could be wearing one of these awesome t-shirts this Christmas. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Happy shooting. We'll see you next time.